and bring in, along with our panel here in the studio, Ben Stein, who joins, uh, who joins us right now. And, uh, and so we, let me just also point out that President Obama uh, may not join us, but may make remarks from Stanford University at some point. So as we said earlier, that's something we'll, may join us. we'll dip yeah. into as well. Well, we don't have any chairs left, David. True. Um, True. Ben, you, you know, I guess it was Stephen. Stephen was making the point a few minutes ago that all of this could hurt us. A global recession, Europe's in trouble, and, and that uh, in turn means the United States is in trouble. What's your take? Well, our exports to England and Great Britain are trivial. They're absolutely inconsequential in the st by the standards of the gross domestic product. If they were to fall by 10 or 20 percent, it would not even be a rounding error in the national income <laughs> accounts. I don't think there's any problem for the U.S. whatsoever in this. And if the uh, European Union breaks up, they'll still be needing to import wheat and hides and lumber and whatever they import from the United States. I don't see it having a big uh, impact on the U.S. I think several things happened. There is fury in England about certain criminal acts com committed by uh, Islamic and other uh, foreign immigrants, and there's just gigantic fury about that. Mm -hmm. And also there's fury about the Brussels bureaucrats ordering them around. Right. But this, none of this really has much to do with the United States. The United States economy is very strong. There's no sign that we're not going to continue to be very strong. And as Ferris Bueller said, I'm not <laughs> European. I don't plan to be European. And I think we're all set. Uh, you know a thing or two about that. <laughs> Guys, to put that in him. Well, I, Ben, and with all due respect, I think you're a little bit too optimistic. Because if the EU goes and the Euro goes, we do have major worldwide yeah. problems unless we have a backstop. And I just want to echo what Charlie said because I thought it was oh. very, very prescient. If we have a Charlie, model for growth, I, Charlie Gasparino? Yes, oh, got it. before okay. he left. Just expanding a little bit on that. If we have a model for growth, okay. all these issues go away. The U.S. economy is not doing so well. I mean, for mm -hmm. one thing. I mean, even Janet Yellen said she doesn't know how the U.S. economy is going. If she doesn't know what the best researchers in the world, no one knows. You can't say it's doing well. One thing you can say, though, is if Europe and the United States and the West in general picks up the ball on infrastructure. I am so worried about having a grid that is circa 19th century. Mm -hmm. The Chinese could turn out the lights almost any time they want. That's scary mm -hmm. stuff. We need to spend well, massive amounts of money vote. on infrastructure. Right. Europe too. Well, this ben, would tie Europe together. That has nothing to do with well, the that, that, has so, to do with, that, that has nothing to do with Brexit. That has nothing to do with Brexit whatsoever. It I mean, does. North it Korea has everything to do with it because if you have more growth no, in nothing, Britain, you no, wouldn't anyone, have Brexit. Sir, Sir, but that has nothing to do with an electromagnetic pulse. That has the two it things has are totally everything unrelated. To do with it because Look, you I, need infrastructure to, be, to, to generate the electromagnetic pulse. I'm sorry. How did we get here? Yeah. I don't know. Well, you should be sorry. I mean, there's no there's no <laughs> sign that the Brexit is going to cause the North Koreans to explode a hydrogen bomb. No, up but in there's the every bit of we sign that Brexit could lead economy. to growth. No, there is not a sign of that, yes, sir. There's 4.7% unemployment the in the U.S. Well, I suppose, well, I suppose, yeah. Well, I suppose, let Ben talk for a second. Well, I suppose it could mean that men from outer space could come here, or women, too. But there is no connection between the Brexit and an electromagnetic I'm bus. sorry, it's not sir, funny. There, sir, mm -hmm. sir, 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 we're not having people who can't eat in, in the United States unless they're on diets. Well, you we should look at the poverty rates. We don't have economic problem in this country. You know, you're exactly the unlimited that people are complaining about. You should look at the poverty rates. In this I, I will, the poverty no. rate is very low in no, this country. Very, very, very low. I will intervene on Ben's behalf. For the last years. I guarantee you, Ben Stein has been to Walmart more times than you've in the last month that you've been in ever in You're your life. You're absolutely wrong. Leave. How do we I know I've been to Walmart? I'm going to stop this for no, one second. I, I just We're wanna... not going to turn it into an argument about who's been to Walmart. No, I'm just saying that you actually have to a, accuse Ben of being elitist is ridiculous. Well, when he's saying that the poverty rate in this country is low, it's not. You're talking. Look at, McKinsey. Look at McKinsey's report. It just came out this week, uh, Dagan. I'm sorry. It, I'm just guys, citing you know what, the facts. You know what the issue well, you is? You should I be sorry. This, the poverty I, I, rate is very low. No, it isn't. Do it's I know about what, what it was when Johnson yeah. declared but, war Stephen. on poverty.